in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of four properties in St. Petersburg, Florida that are listed for sale below the median sales price. So stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh Bryan and I'm your Tampa Bay area real estate expert. And today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of four properties that are currently listed for sale under the median sales price. Um, all have been rehabbed so they could be perfect, you know, starter homes for you if that's what you're looking for. Just for a little bit of context, the median sales price for St. Petersburg in December was $390,000. That's up a little over 12% year over year. And it actually went up $100 from November. November's was three eighty nine nine. dollars So enough talking, let's start the tour. So as we go through these today, let me know in the comments below what you think and if there's one that is your favorite. All right, so we are in the Linwood Park area of St. Petersburg. This one is a three bedroom, three bath, 1,171 square feet, currently listed at $344,999. So let's take a uh, spin around the neighborhood real quick. This area right now, this street particularly, um, a lot of homes are being purchased and rehabbed. So like they're working on the roof right across the street. And this is what you're getting right now for um, homes that are under the median sales price. Good starter home, uh, but let's go inside, take a look at this. All right, so when you first come in, this is what you're looking like. You got your um, LVP, the vinyl flooring. It's like nice white cabinets, butcher block countertops but let's start over here to the right we have set up as a gym slash office space but you could use this for you know whatever you like I would probably use it for an office or even you know a smaller bedroom if you wanted to but let's head across the hall here check out this bedroom. And then the bathroom is updated. So they did a good job with this rehab. All right, let's continue on. And then here is another bathroom. On into the kitchen here. It's a nice white cabinets, butcher block countertops, pretty cool sink. Floating shelves are nice. Your electric appliances, stainless steel, and then a little little breakfast look area over here. Cabinets, and then the back here is going to be uh, the third bedroom. This one I would say is the master because it's definitely bigger. Got a bigger closet. Nice walk-in closet. You have your other third bathroom and your laundry is in here as well. I mean, this is really nice. Look at that, it's really nice. And if you wanted to, you could frame out this other, put it, maybe put a door there just to, maybe you should cut down on the noise, but it'd be kind of tight if you did. I'd probably just leave it like this. And then let's head out and take a look at the backside or backyard. 
All right, so you walk out, you got some steps, you step down. I'll show you those in one second. So just uh, three steps here. And then you have your backyard, nice mature trees back here. Go around, take a look at the side over here. Got a nice, obviously this stuff will be all gone. But you have a nice sized yard. Let's take a look on this side over here. All right, that is going to be it for this property. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you at the next one. All right, we are here at the second property, and I apologize uh, for the wind noise or the car noise uh, behind me. But this one is, uh, we're in the Naylor Terrace area now of St. Petersburg. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 798 square feet. Um, currently listed at $319,000. So let me pan around the neighborhood. And now you can see why there's road noise. Because you're on right off of 37th Street. But let's head inside, take a look. So this one, um, like all the other ones we're going to see today, has been rehabbed. So let's go inside, take a look, see what it looks like. So a nice little area to hang out. All right, let's go inside. All right, so when you come in the front door, here is your living room. It has been redone with the vinyl flooring, new paint. Let's go in here to the right first here you go one bedroom here this looks out to the front and then you also have a window looking out to the side the closet here ceiling fan let's head on back to bedroom number two and obviously this will be pretty quick since it's only, what I say, 782 square feet, something like that. And then behind the door, you have your closet here. It's nice to have doors, you know, actual solid doors on the closets instead of those bifolds. Uh, but you do have you know, a ceiling fan here. And then you come down here, you step down. This is going to be your laundry room. So your washer and dryer would go there. And then you have some storage space over here as well. And then obviously if you wanted to put cabinets on the wall, you could. And then you have a closet here. All right. Continuing on. This closet here is going to have your water here. And it's a space to store some stuff. And then bathroom is going to be here. So all updated. And then you have your tub and shower combo here. All right, let's continue on over to the kitchen. You have your granite countertops electric appliances, all stainless steel. Nice backsplash, nice big sink. So for the size of the house, you know, the, the space is actually used pretty well. And then back here is going to be your master bedroom. Closet's going to be over here. Electrical panel there. And, you know, if I'm being honest, I mean, it's long, but it's not, you know, this way. I mean, if you're going to put a bed here. And then bathroom here. And then behind the door 
is where you have your shower. Obviously all new tile. All right, let's uh, head outside and uh, take a look at the backyard. All right, so you got a new um, deck. And yes, we get winter and leaves fall. I mean, it's January 4th as I'm filming this. I mean, it's still going to be you know, 80 plus degrees today. So definitely not complaining about that. You know, you can't really sh shovel sunshine, sunshine. So you don't have to worry about, you know, all this you know, snow. You know, speaking of snow, I was walking my neighborhood last night and somebody had those uh, Christmas, uh, you know, lights that project things on their garage door. And it's like, let it snow. And I'm like, yeah, you're wishing for the wrong thing down here. But I get it. You know, they're just trying to be in the crystal spirit. But I just kind of thought that was funny. So, you know, pretty big size backyard for um, the size, you know, of the house and everything. And then obviously you got a you know barbecue pit you could do there, um, but this is going to be it on this particular property. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I will see you at the next one. All right, here we are at the next property. This one and the daggum wind keeps keeps blowing. This one is a two bedroom, one bath, nine hundred seventy three square feet. Built in 1994, uh, property taxes are $34.80 a year, and it is currently listed at $379,900. So let me pan around. This actually has a really big yard. You know, just kind of, I'll pan around first, and then I'll walk around and show you. But fence yard, it is a corner lot. And then... I'll walk over here. So you got this you know, long driveway with a with a gate. Um, there's enough room for the park on the street, probably one or two cars. I mean, you can see the, the post office van there. But this is the front slash side yard. And then you can pull, you know, through the gate, pull in. So let's go inside, take a look at this one. And actually, before I go inside, I'll show you this side of the yard over here so you can see that there and you know what well we're out here let's walk around the back might as well so you got you know, fenced all the way around and these big ah oh, almost got hit by a falling leaf all right, let's go inside, take a look at this one, and see what it looks like. But I like how they, I mean, obviously you could stay in this or, you know, do whatever you wanted to, but right now it's just, you know, the natural, natural wood. All right, so when you first come in, you have your living room here. This is all uh, new vinyl flooring, new paint. The wall sconces, it's a little dark in here, but you could update that with, you know, changing out the bulbs. Right, big open area here. But let's continue into here. And actually, um, your electrical panel is right there behind the door. But right here is going to be the master bedroom. You have the window that looks out the front, and then you have the two over here that look out. Well, actually, I guess that was the side technically. This would be the front of the house there. And then you have your closets. Let's see, does it completely connected? It is. And just out of there is going to be the master bath. Well, I guess the only bath because it's a two bath or two bed, one bath. 
but nicely done. These step-in showers are nice. The only downside in, in my experience, because I have one that you kind of walk in as well, not like that, it's you know, kind of walk almost like a hall, but with it being open is um, it can get a little cold, you know, when you're taking a shower, unless you have the you know, door closed or something. All right, so your uh, laundry room is going to be here. Um, obviously, you have to have a stackable units there. And then bedroom number two is going to be right here. And this one looks out that side yard. And there's a light in the closet, which is nice. You know, a lot of these aren't having lights. So that's nice. And it's on a switch instead of a pool chain. Continuing in, you have your AC unit here. And then into the kitchen, you have a big walk-in pantry, which you could obviously add more shelves all around here if you wanted to. And then your stainless steel appliances, white cabinets, and these are, looks like quartz um, countertops. And then your windows over the sink, looking out the side yard over there. And then this door goes to the backyard. I can show you, but I already kind of showed you earlier, but right here, so you're at the, you know, the corner here. And then you have some papers here. So if you wanted to, you know, set up a, like bistro table, chair, or something like that, that would work. But that is gonna be it for this particular property. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you at the next one. All right, we are out in front of the last property of the day. We are in the uh, like Ann Parks Heights subdivision area. And this is a two bedroom, one bath. 672 square feet built in 1953 obviously there's no HOA and it is currently listed at 289,999 the property taxes are 2519 a year so let me pan around show you the neighborhood there is not a driveway for this one um, I haven't been in the back yet, but I'll double check and see if there's anything like an entrance from the back of the house, but I don't think there is. So let's go inside, take a look at this one. All right, so you, when you walk in the front door, you have your living room area here. And then, you know, this is the front door. Over here on the right side, you're going to be your two bedrooms and your one bathroom. So this is your one bedroom here. And the closet. Here we walk in. I got my flip-flops on today because it's nice 80 degrees. All right, bedroom number two looks out the back and the side. And then right here is gonna be your AC unit. And then your bathroom, the tile floor, white cabinets. All right, let's go take a look at the kitchen back here. All right, I'll update it here. White cabinets, the white, what is this? Looks like Corian countertops. 
stainless steel appliances, sink, the blue, that's actually blue. I know it's probably showing up gray in the, in the video, but it's a uh, blue, gray undertones, um, glass tile, stainless steel appliances. And then let's go outside. And I was looking, there is uh, access back here to park from the different street. So you got this big shed here. And I'm not sure what this is. I'm not gonna pull that apart, but that's probably, don't know, not gonna take a guess. But you have a big, I mean, you got, you know, mature trees. You have a big yard. Um, you walk all the way down here. This is where you could access, you know, pull your car in and stuff so you're not parked on the street. But right there. Um, so you can pull in that way. kind of kind of odd but you know it is what it is it's $289,999 so at this point we're $100,000 below the median price so can't really ask for too much but that's going to be this property let me know in the comments below what you think all right so I hope you enjoyed today's tour and kind of get a feel of what it's you know what's out there under the median sales price in St. Petersburg, Florida. All these homes, obviously, you're gonna be a little bit on the smaller side, but they're probably perfect for you know a first-time home buyer, or if you're downsizing uh, and you just want you know to get into a home versus rent, these are all great options with them being rehabbed, at least you know they're they're updated and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed it. Please give me a like on the video. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you thought about these properties. Which one was your best? Would you consider any of them yourself? Um, and you know, if you're moving to the area or thinking about moving to the Tampa Bay area, reach out. I would love to be a resource for you. Until next video, take care.